Good day, aspiring engineers. This is a four minute video, and this will get you over the hump. Some of you have been having a bit of trouble with uh, the way my tutorials have been getting a bit dated now, since Autodesk has updated the user interface for Fusion 360 last year. So stick around. And they did actually release a white paper showing you how the user face has changed. And here it is, let's look through this uh, briefly. It's 11 pages long and most of it doesn't have anything to do with the 16 basic tutorials that we're working on. You can see the, two, the old one and the new one here on page number two. Just a few tools in the upper left that are uh, what we're going to be focusing on. There's a lot here that is for the whole program, which we don't use at this stage, of just learning the, uh, the basics. Uh, here's on uh, page five, which starts to uh, talk about the sketching environment. Here's the old sketching environment and here's the new one and uh, you can read that. And I'm going to put the, uh, the link in the description to the video below so that you can look at that one. The other thing I'll draw your attention to is, is Brad Tallis's live streams. Here's what they look like. And uh, if you search in uh, YouTube, you'll find this one. Brad Tallis is fantastic. He works for Autodesk and he's done this live stream and it goes for an hour or so, no, half an hour. And it's all about the differences between the old user interface and the new user interface. I think you'll find that interesting. You only need about three or four tools to complete all of the 16 basic tutorials. So this ought to get you over the hump. And here's what the new user interface looks like. This is the, uh, the first model. Here's the, uh, the sketch, the create sketch button. And right next to that is the extrude tool. Then we've got the revolve tool, which is not included in the 16 tutorials. Uh, there's the whole tool, the pattern tool. Oh, here's a thing. Um, since the uh, change in the user interface, there are a couple of preferences that need to be changed. So click on your name up here in the top right of the screen, go to preferences. Then uh, under general, we have design. And there are two here that I would like you to switch on like this one, auto look at sketch and scale entire sketch at first dimension. Click apply and okay. Now here's a quick demonstration. If you'll follow along with me, just watch what I do for the first time and then play the video back and have a go yourself, uh, you'll get somewhere. Here's the sketch tool and uh, that shows you a plane in space. Choose one of those three planes in space. It'll turn to face you. Now that we've got uh, the sketching environment open, we've got the, the sketching tools and the constraints there. So click on the rectangle tool and make a rectangle, no particular size. Hit the E key, it turns to give you the isometric view. We'll pull that out a little bit and we click OK. We're out of the sketch mode and we're back to the feature mode. We've got the create tools here, we've got modify tools here. This is the feature part of the program. Here's the fillet tool. Let's uh, put a fillet on here on one of these edges. I'm just going to type in 10, there's a fillet. Now I want to put a chamfer on there as well, that's another feature. It's not on the modify toolbar there, but if we drop the menu down we can find it, third one on the list, chamfer. I'm just going to click one edge. I'm going to type in uh, 5, press enter. So there's a solid with a fillet and a chamfer. We started with a sketch, then we extruded it. And there it is. Now, if you'll practice five times, then you'll be ready to start the 16 tutorials. And I think you'll know where everything is that you need to know. See you next time.